All right, so we got something new and we really want to ask the question. So many of us probably shoot videos with our smartphones. I shoot a lot with an iPhone 10R. Can you get some add-on lenses, I guess, extra lenses that are not expensive because you can get, I'll use the moment, they got some super nice lenses and I have one of their anamorphics, but you're spending over a hundred dollars for a lens. Can you find something cheaper than that? That's just as good for your needs. So we have a lens that's coming in Canadian at around 37 bucks. So under $40, how good is it? Well, let's first take a look and then take it outside. That's coming up. All right, my friends, so I went online and I was looking around because I wanted to try some universal lenses, some cheaper lenses. And we see these a lot. Sometimes they come in kits. This lens is by Zwart. It's the Zwart Pro Big Eye two-in-one HD phone camera lens. So it's a two-in-one kit, a 0.45 times wide angle and a 15 times macro. For me, the real big reason was the wide. I don't do a lot of macro stuff, so I'm definitely not gonna focus on that macro side in this video. It's really gonna be on the super wide because I wanna see on an iPhone, which is this camera shooting down here, what distortion is it like? You know, Is this really useful for when you and I, let's say, are traveling or we just don't wanna carry our big camera around because you know, I have big cameras that I'm shooting with them right here. These, this, this camera right here and this camera, that one's not huge, but you know, definitely you need to carry a bag or it's an extra weight. But can I just carry something like this and get decent photos and or decent video? The big one for me was video because a lot of times with my iPhone, I'd like to shoot like the selfie video so I can use it for like a vlog when I'm out. Question really is, is, is this gonna give me the width and keep some of the quality. First off, let's just open this up. So this is big eye, right? Big eye. And if you, first off when I got it, I was like, okay, listen. Hear that? I was a little concerned. I'm like, what's broken in there? So don't be concerned. Nothing's broken. Well, I don't know that. Something may be broken in yours, but in mine, not broken. So yes, I did open this last night just to take a look at it, but I haven't really tested it. So this is gonna open up this way. And this is what is making that rattly sound. This zipper. That's that's your rattly sound. But I do like right off the bat that it comes with this cool case. That's that's fantastic. It's really nice. And the only thing as an extra that I would have loved to have seen them is to put one of those what do you mean do it? Rock climby things. You know, the hook with the can't think of it. My brain's kinda mush this morning. But you know what I'm talking about. Yep, all right, let's open it. Cause that would have been cool. I could have just fired this on one of my belt loops or on my backpack or whatever. So there we go. So in this little side, we have a big eye user manual. Everything's you screwed in. That's it, this is what it is, right? How to mount, screw it, put it down, put it on, put it down, put it on, put it down. Okay, now just so you know with the macro, if you are using the macro and the macro is important, it does say here, it has a 0.4 to one inch zoom range so 0.4 inches to one inch is where it actually does it zooming so anything farther from the item like if i was this far not going to focus you know if i was this close not going to focus i kind of have to be in here for that focus to hit so beware uh you do have which is also really nice oh look at that oh so nice this is what i was talking about and they do come with it mm. Mm. well done well it's so Good on you. Cleaning cloth. That's important because nobody wants to shoot a whole day's worth of photos and realize it's all it's all blurry because you got some schmutz on your lens. Nope. And this really does look like like a, a real. I want to say real lens. It is a real lens, but you know what I mean, like a higher end lens. Look at that. It even has like a nice little little. Right. Does it have? It does have threading on it too. I'm really curious to know maybe what that that ring is on the front what what's the diameter i don't know my guess is somewhere around 37 i i'm, I'm not 100 percent. i'm just blowing smoke out my mm -hmm. it does have a rear cap as well as you can see nice little rear cap hopefully you can see that so these on and off so when it's back in here good to go this is your 
This is your thingamajig. This is your mount. This is what makes it universal. So off it goes. So this though too, I think, oh yeah. So just so you know, so this, if you spin it, this part, that sound reminds me of like Doctor Who. Right, yeah. For those, that, that's your macro. So if you just shoot with that, that's your macro. Put that on there, your macro it up. It's not something that I'm gonna, like I said, we're gonna be using a lot. I like it for the wide. Get it on there, 15 times macro. That's that's super cool. So how does it mount? Um, so I gotta take this phone up here off and we're gonna put this on, just so you guys can see it. And then uh, we'll whip outside and take a quick look. All right, just two secs, one sec. Two secs, one sec, some sex. Hold on, no sex. Hey, family show. Okay, so number one, am I in focus? Am I in focus? Just make sure I'm in focus. Focus, focus. Number one, here's my phone, here's this stuff. We're all laid out nicely, I think. Primarily, you have to realize, and if you are gonna get a lens like this, for those of us that have cases on our phones, like me, uh, that you are going to possibly be traveling or going out with a case that's easy to remove. So this one's nice and easy to pop off, you know, because this or this doesn't mount on your phone with a case. So that could be an issue. The other thing to be aware of too is that I like this. So when you're looking at some brands, you know, this could, the thickness is, you get really thick on it, right? <sighs> Should use my cleaning cloth, but I'm not gonna. So this simply gonna go up over top of your lens, just kind of get it centered. So it's kind of like that. Now, if you have a lens that's wider than that hole, you're out of luck, my friends. That's, that's, there's nothing more I can tell you. So just kind of center that as best you can. It's got a nice little clamp on it. You can see that there, clamped on goodness. Awesome. Now, if you want it on this side, you're literally just gonna have to figure out where it goes. So figure out where your camera is, you know, place it over that if you need to. That's cool as well. But we're going back on this side. Again, try to get it as centered. Now, the reason I say get it as centered as possible is that if we push it over to a side, why is that focusing on my hand? Just come on now. If you push it over to the side, then what happens is, my guess, and I could be, again, completely wrong, is that any kind of lens distortion that's on this kind of lens is, you know, gonna be amplified on one side of your photo. I'd rather, it sounds funny, but I'd rather the distortion be unified around the edges instead of way more distortion on this side and none on this side. Get her centered. Now, once you have that, we're just gonna take this, take that rear lens cap off, right? Looks nice and clean. We're gonna take this, make sure you get your threads in right. So a little reverse threading first. There it is, there it is. We're good. Nice little thread on, nice and tight. Again, you want this kind of sitting. I know on the iPhone XR, the camera's raised and that actually can be a little bit of a benefit because it keeps that locked on there much nicer. That doesn't look awkward at all. The one thing I find is that for those of us that use, no, well, I guess that's all right. For those of us that use the volume buttons, it gets that big lens down here, so. Big perk of this is you're not gonna accidentally get that pinky or any of your fingers covering up the lens because you just can't, unless you get your finger way out here, but that's weird, you're just gonna rest it back here and you should be good. Let's go outside. Again, I'm just gonna test the wide here because that's, that's the important part. Let's go outside. We're gonna get some photos. I'm gonna take some photos outside, just out, outside, and some video, and uh, see what we think. So I'm gonna also shoot some forward stuff and some rear stuff. All right, let's go outside. All right, so first off, we got the camera mounted. I have it mounted on like a little uh, bendy tripod, and we're just gonna go outside. And this is without the lens, shooting selfie mode. So we're going outside here so you guys can see. And now what I'm gonna do here, so this is video. I'm gonna snap a quick photo. And that photo was awesome, that's for you. Keep it, store it, you know, make it your screensaver, I don't, whatever. It's good stuff. Now we're gonna stop this and we're gonna spin that lens around to take a look at what that does. All right, so there it is with that big lens on it. And this is in video. And from here on the screen, I think that looks fantastic. Really good, look how wide that is. I can get my whole arm out there pretty much, right? Centers on there, so that's good. I got people walking by staring at me because I'm pointing at nothing. Yep, doesn't matter. All right, let's take a, let's take a photo, shall we? 
Okay, again, so this is, this is, you get a bit of that weird distortion, right, as you come around. But, right, there's like a weird parallax that happens because of the super wide. But that's, on the screen looks good. I'm sure if I get in really tight and investigate. But that's, that's super useful. I like that. $37. All right, let's spin the camera around and see what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to stand here. And I want to get the edge of this in so you can see it. So right about there. So we see, we don't get the, we get a little bit of the tree. We don't quite get the trunk of the tree, the car, and just the side of my garage. So now we're going to put the lens on. Ready? And we definitely get a lot wider, right? So there's that width increase. We are getting a little bit of curvature on the building. There's a cat, cat running by. Look at that, if I get the building just in the shot, look how much of the tree we get. Crazy, right? Okay, let's also take a quick photo. So you guys can see the photo quality, but let's just kind of get down here. And we'll get a shot, let's see, of this tree here maybe. So we'll kind of slide over there. Some, there's some, some, oh, there's some bushes here. And I want to get where there's some definition because in a shot like this, I'm sure that looks fantastic, possibly. I am seeing a bit of distortion in the corners, without question. There's definitely some distortion there. Center frame looks great. Uh, if we get close to something, let's just see us come in here to like these bushes, right? So we'll get a shot in here, just so we can see what the distortion looks like. So on the camera, I would say the right side's getting more distortion than the left. You can adjust that. I think that is just what it is. All right, let's just get a last photo. All right, so there you go. Do you find that useful? Coming back up to the car. All right, so let's just walk back in the house. Again, that's super wide. I like that for the width. That's awesome. Let's just go back in the house. I'm going to take a quick look at this footage to see what I think. And, um, We'll go upstairs and talk about it. All right, off we go. All right, so we're back in the house and I've had a chance to look at the photos and the videos. And okay, let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Because you've seen them. I just saw them. So let's talk about the photos first. The front facing camera, when it has the lens on it, I think actually does an okay job. My expectations out of that front facing camera aren't great anyway. Getting that extra width out of it, actually kind of cool. You can definitely see in this one shot that I took of me here, because it was so, I don't want to see, there's a lot of texture in it. You really didn't notice it as much, but if you really look up here in the right hand corner of this shot, you can really see where you're losing a lot of that uh, detail and resolution where we kind of just lost a part of the roof that kind of showed up, it just, it just wasn't there. Front facing camera though, you really, especially when you take a photo where there's a lot of detail. So if you took a photo and there's a lot of blue sky in that, you probably won't notice it as much. But if you take a shot with detail, this really starts to suffer, I find, on the outside. The center is nice and sharp, without question. It's a really nice sharp center, but it really starts to hurt a bit when you start to really look at the outside. And that's kind of important because that's the reason that you put a wide angle lens on it in the first place. Not a ton of chromatic abrasion on it, so you don't get a lot of that purple fringing which seemed to be okay, but like I said, here's a shot here of the, I don't even know what it is, whatever kind of plant hedge thing it is. The distortion was heavy on the left, but really heavy on the right. It, it Again, the center, center looked great, but it's a little, it's a little concerning. That's a, I don't know if that's really useful unless you don't mind that look, because you really are like kind of from like, and it's, kind of a little over here really where that center point hits. It's like there and this kind of blurs out and then this blurs out. I even tried to take the, like this part here and turn it just to see if there was a part of the lens that was causing that to happen and it really didn't seem to make any difference. So I'm not really too sure. Video wise, again, it's, it's, I don't know, I found it on a screen when I was recording. I thought it looked actually pretty good, but coming back in after, you know, again, for uh, when there's a lot of light and you're kind of walking around, if you're doing a walking shot, uh, you probably won't notice the distortion that much. 
because the whole shot is moving. So if you're doing like a vlog style or you're front facing camera and you're kind of moving and the cameras you're kind of following, I don't know if you'd notice it too much. Uh, if you're really picky, 100% you'll notice it. It's a $37 lens. But if it's a static shot where it is stationary, that's where you really notice it because you have enough time to really get in and, and, and see that distortion. Same as the photos, it is, just, it is just flaring out there. Now, the only thing I can think of is if your camera was shooting in 4K and you have a high enough resolution uh, photo camera on your smartphone, then having some of the ability to crop in to get rid of where it highly is distorting around the edges could be of benefit where, because the center is sharp. The center is actually surprisingly sharp. I was quite impressed. It is just, it, like I said, it's kind of from here over and from like here over and, it's, and it encompasses that whole circle. Uh, it got really good reviews online. So I'm not 100% sure what is happening because uh, I don't know. I think I may return this possibly. I want to take it out and get some extra shots just to try it and uh, look at maybe getting something like the Moment lens because I've been happy with their lenses. We'll see. All right, guys, I'm going to put a link down below if you guys would like to go look at this lens or purchase it. And if you look at the video and photo quality and you're like, no, it looks fine. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm a stickler. Maybe I just expect too much out of this. I don't know because again, it is only a $40 lens. You know, it's not as if I'm shooting with a camera like this that's, you know, got a five, six, seven hundred dollar lens on it. And even that's not considered expensive. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, link down below. You guys can go take a look if you're interested. Uh, if not, that's cool too. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, my friends. And we will see you in the next video. More stuff like this. I actually have a telephoto lens coming from another company that I want to try. That's coming up. Later.